What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Patrick here. And in this video, what we're going to do is use the definition of a derivative to find f prime x or the derivative when the function is the square root of 3 minus x squared. So definition of a derivative, we know it is the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And remember, we're trying to get rid of this h in the denominator so we could plug in 0 for h. So what we would do is um, f of x plus h, we would plug in x plus h, this expression, for this x value right here. So we would have the square root of 3 minus x plus h squared. That is f of x plus h if that's the function minus f of x, which is just square root of 3 minus x squared, like that. And then this is all over h. Now, notice that this numerator, we're going to have to rationalize. So what we're going to have to do is multiply that numerator by its conjugate, which would be 3 minus x plus h squared plus square root of 3 minus x squared. Right, we just change that sign in the middle and then the terms on the end, they stay the same. And we've got to multiply the bottom by that as well. So it's like we're taking this big bracket here and just multiplying it by one. And what we would end up with now is the limit as h goes to zero. Now notice the ends, we could just multiply by each other. And because the ends here are the same, the first two terms, the uh, square roots will cancel out, so we'd end up with 3 minus x plus h squared minus root 3 minus x squared times root 3 minus x squared is just 3 minus x squared, and we're subtracting that whole expression there, right? And then we would have all over h, we're going to keep these two expressions separate, and then we'll have the square root of 3 minus x plus h squared plus the square root of 3 minus x squared, like that. And so now what we have to do is simplify that numerator right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to erase this just to give myself some more room. And I'm going to continue this up here. So we'll have the limit as h goes to 0 of 3 minus, now this x plus h squared, we would foil that out. We'd get x squared plus uh, 2xh plus h squared minus 3 plus x squared after we distribute that negative inside that bracket all over h, and then we keep this the same, the square root of 3 minus x plus h squared plus square root of 3 minus x squared, like that. Let me erase this now. Uh, so from here, we can simplify further. We would distribute that negative inside the bracket, so all the signs here in the bracket would change. And then notice some stuff will cancel out. So the 3 minus 3 will cancel out. We'll have a negative x squared that will cancel out with the plus x squared. And so what we'll end up with is negative 2xh uh, minus h squared. After we distribute that negative inside the bracket, this will be negative, that will be negative as well. And this is still the limit as h approaches 0, all over h bracket square root of 3 minus x plus h squared plus root 3 minus x squared. And now notice what we can do in the numerator is we could factor out an h. So if we do that, this could be your next line. I'm just going to do it in the same line here. Um, we could factor out an h and we'd be left with negative 2x minus h, like that. And now notice that the h's cancel out. And now what we could do is we could plug in 0 for h. So if we plug in 0, this would go to 0. And then this h would go to 0, so we'd be left here with 3 minus x squared, all under that square root. So let's rewrite this. We'd have negative 2x up top. That's the only thing that would be left. 
all over the square root of 3 minus x squared plus the square root of 3 minus x squared. And notice that these are like terms because it's the same expression under the square root. So if I have something like a root c plus b root c, these are like terms because that square root is the same. And all we do is we add those coefficients that are in front. So there's like a 1 in front and a 1 in front. So we could add those two, and that would become negative 2x over 2 root 3 minus x squared. Just combine these to that. And now notice the 2's cancel out. And so we get our final answer, negative x over square root of 3 minus x squared. So that there is the derivative for that function.